All right, folks. So if you saw my last video on the FT, uh, Yesu FT710, uh, you remember the receive sensitivity testing I was doing, and I had uh, mentioned that this was a brand new radio to me, and I was no expert on it whatsoever. And uh, what I noticed was, while DXing with it, was I was able to hear some signals out of the noise floor that just were so low and I and they were intelligible and I thought there's just no way what I was doing was had to be the end of the story and sure enough it wasn't uh, I realized now I was off frequency so uh, that being said I've enjoyed so much using this radio uh, so far that I've had it that I went ahead and bought myself a Yaesu FTDX10 so I wanted to show that so that right now is currently in the bench on on the table versus this just propped up right now uh, i just set this up uh, yesterday and i just wanted to show you what i've seen so right now we're tuned to the same 28399 and over here on the uh hp 8647a we are tuning to 284 and we are at 0.16 microvolts and i have our ipo setting in amp 2 the the specs in the book for the FTDX10 are exactly the same for as far as receiver sensitivity as the FT710. I have no DNR on, and you see that we are able to hold 12 dB solid of Synad at 0.16 microvolts. Now watch what happens when I set our DNR on. We jump up there to almost 18 dB of Synad at 0.16 microvolts. And as far as our DNR settings, we are at level, or I shouldn't say level, but algorithm four. I realize now also, you know, after reading the operating manual more, that those are 15 different algorithms, and you're supposed to choose the one that best reduces the noise that you are, are hearing. So, so I'm using the same level, or algorithm four, and you see how much our SYNAD jumped up now. Um, and we can push this all the way down to, let's see, minus 134 dB, which is still holding 12 dB of Synad, teetering just above it, 12, 13 dB of Synad, which is the equivalent of 0 0.045 microvolts. So it's blowing the, the, the book spec completely out of the water with DNR on. And again, like I said, um, I was no expert at the FT710 here when I initially was testing it and didn't realize I was off frequency. So now that we see that, let's compare it. We'll pull this back out over here. We're going to pop it in the back of the uh, FT710 here. All right. And then we're going to put this back to 0.16 microvolts. And then we're going to tune this the same way there we go and not my other uh hold on there okay there we go. Let me slide this back. Okay, so now we're at. Do we have DNR on? No. D, oh, yep. DNR is on. All right, so DNR is off now. Amp 2. And you see, there we go at 0.16 microvolts. We are able to hold that same 12 dB of Synad. Now I'm going to throw DNR on, and it is at the same algorithm 4. And you see, we've jumped up. And sensitivity there we are at on this on the ft710 we're looking at about 15 db of synad compared to this i think it was 17 db of synad with the ftdx10 now let's go down we're going to throw this back down to minus 134 db and she's still holding about 14 dB of Synad. We, we're going to push it all the way down to the, as far as this RF signal generator can go, minus 136 dB. And she's still at 12 dB of Synad with DNR on. And that is the equivalent of 
0.035 microvolts. So yeah, these uh, both of these receivers are just absolutely amazing. And like I said, you know, I, when I did my last video, I the radio was brand new to me, and uh, I I hope I expressed that enough. I think I did uh, two or three times that I was no expert on this radio, but after real world use i just it just seemed like what i was seeing on the on the sign out ori on originally for sensitive was not accurate and it wasn't now i realize my mistake so i wanted to clarify that but also be able to show you that both of these receivers are just amazing amazing receivers absolutely amazing uh so that being said let me turn this volume down turn that down what I've seen so far is this was super easy to set up. You know, the the, uh, the FT710 has the same exact menu as the FTDX10 does for the most part. I mean, the, the layouts are just identical. And uh, it was very easy for me to just throw this thing into the bench and set it up and start using it just within minutes. So... Um, that was uh, a plus. I, there wasn't anything new I had to learn. Let me shut this off now up here. There was nothing new that I had to learn um, as far as that was concerned. For the most part, they're, you know, they're basically the same. Outside of a few feature differences, they're, they're the same radio. Um, so what I do like about this is that the shift width, uh, notch, contour, all these controls are manual knobs on the side. Whereas with the uh, FT710, it's kind of touchscreen slash function knob, you know, driven. So having those on the side over here, I, I like that a lot. I like the fact there's a lock button down here for the VFOs. Um, that's a, a big plus for me as well. I like the bigger screen. It, it doesn't, it's not a whole lot bigger than this, but it just feels like it. Um, so... Other than those, you know, three small things, I mean, you'll probably see me in subsequent videos using, you know, both having this up on the on the bench and then floating between, you know, the 710 and the FTDX10. Uh, they're both just, I really love the ASUs. I'm super glad I bought into the ASU line as opposed to the ICOM 7300. I debated it for a really, really long time what I wanted my... Uh, you know, first real HF rig to be, and I finally decided on the FT710, and I, I don't regret it at all. I instantly fell in love with it, and which pushed me to just say, you know what, I want another one. But I didn't really want, I didn't want the same radio. I wanted another Yesu, just didn't want the exact same one. So that that's what led me down the path of just getting the FTDX10. So uh, still lots and lots to learn on both radios, but I just wanted to kind of do an update and show you what I had learned about receiver sensitivity on both of these and to clarify how much um, both of them, how much signal both of them were, be able, were able to pull out of the noise floor. Uh, they're both just amazing receivers. I, I, receivers. I can't say enough about that. So, yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time, 73s.